What is going on guys, my name is Infinite and today we're going to review a monitor I unboxed about 6 months ago back in July. It was the ASUS 1 millisecond response gaming monitor, the VN247H. A lot of pros use this monitor because of its really fast response rate and um, I picked it up just for gaming. But over the last 6 months I've been using this monitor as my second display monitor because of all the inputs that you can have on this. It has 2 HDMI and 1 VGA and I have no idea why they didn't include the DVI cable. It would have been a lot better but uh, they didn't include it so I used the VGA for my desktop and then I switch between the sources uh, for my Xbox on the HDMI. So it's a really good monitor so far. I mean, it has a 1080p display, very sharp, very bright as well. And um, I, it's just really good. I mean, the colors are vibrant and I uh, haven't had any problems so far. I know some people were asking about dead pixels. I purchased this refurbished actually from Amazon and uh, no problems with that. It's been working fine over the last six months. Now, other people were also talking about the thickness of the monitor. I believe the dimensions are also on Amazon if you guys want to check those out. But I did a little bit of comparison between the US quarter and the monitor. As you can see from the video footage, uh, the monitor kind of tapers off to the side. And the middle is where the whole mass of the components are for the monitor. Uh, in all reality, it looks very thin, especially with that a thin bezel on the monitor. It, just, it looks like one of those ultra-thin TVs that you see at Sam's Club or Walmart nowadays are cost uh, two grand or just ridiculous amount of money but it has a good look to the monitor lastly I want to touch up on the the sound for this monitor this monitor does come with speakers which is something that really doesn't come with a lot of monitors at the price uh, at uh, 140 for this monitor so let me just show you guys a little bit of that sound I'm gonna boot up advanced warfare real quick and you guys are gonna be able to see that right now Now, I don't know if you guys heard or didn't hear, but the speakers in the Mac aren't as good as perhaps on a, on a TV, on a real TV, or individual speakers, which you can hook up onto the monitor uh, to itself. Now, the speakers sound a little bit muffled. Uh, that may be because they don't have individual holes for them to, to play out of, or perhaps they're too hidden inside the monitor, but I, I don't really know. But they don't sound as great as they would on a TV. So keep that in mind if you're buying this monitor. Uh, personally, I don't even use the speakers. I just hook up my, my headset and use it like that. Overall, this monitor is really great, guys. Uh, if you're looking for a gaming monitor, I know the holiday season just passed. And I'm doing this in, in January. Uh, and then some people just got this monitor. Well, it's a really great monitor. Um, you're really getting your, the bang for your buck. I think right now on Amazon, this is about $160. And uh, definitely the cheapest one millisecond gaming response monitor out there on the market that I've found so far. I know the, Ven the BenQ ones, uh, they're... They're upwards of 200 so uh, they come in very pricey and this monitor it looks slick it has lots of inputs it even comes with speakers i think this is one of the best gaming monitors you want to go for anyways guys if you have any questions leave them down in the description or actually in the comment section below i'll try to answer them as much as i can and then if you guys haven't watched my unboxing video that will be on the screen right now so you can click on that as always guys make sure you like the video subscribe i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out